Greetings and welcome to Noob Fortress. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this is not the usual content you usually expect from me um, because this is a game that is so complicated it would take me probably hundreds of hours to understand it. And rather than just sit in a book, you know, sit, sit with my head buried in YouTube videos all the time or watching the wonderful Tumbling Satellite uh, do his fortresses, um, I mean, I do watch him, but I'm not, I don't want to stay for like, you know, watch all the VODs and everything to get myself up to speed with this game. I have built, played Colony p Builders in the past, so I know kind of how stuff works, but this is definitely going to be how not to play Dwarf Fortress. Now, I'm not going to make any obvious mistakes or glaring errors like... Uh, like trying to be, I don't know, hype or something. Uh, these are going to be genuine mistakes and mess ups that you will see um, as we are building our fortress. But I'm told it's a really fun game once you get into it. And I kind of want to get into it. So let's go. All right. We're going to start a new game in an existing world. I guess. No, wait, actually. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. I want to do a new world because last time we did a world... It went into tutorial mode on me and I was unable to change anything. Um, so I didn't really like that. So let's create a new world here. So we have things. Let's go. Uh, also, feel free to backseat all you like. I expect to get a lot of backseat comments. Um, I don't promise I'm going to read all of them or follow all of them. I'll try to read all of them, but I'm probably not going to follow because... You know, I want to make my own mistakes. We're going to get stuff going. And also people are going to have conflicting advice. So, uh, you know, be prepared for your advice to be conflicting with others. <laughs> and so it's hard to choose who to follow. Okay, world map, uh, map size medium seems enough. Uh, let's do history length of 100 years. Number of, number of sieves, medium. Sites, medium. Sure. Beasts. I'm going to say very low. Natural savagery, very low. I don't really want a lot of enemies. I want to build a colony, not like be fighting all the time. Mineral occurrences everywhere. Let's -a go. Um, yes, create world. I'm not going to collect detail mode. Somebody said that it overwrites everything that you do. Another person says, no, you can click back and forth as you like. So I don't know. But we are going to... Um, Wow. Let's try to pronounce the name of this place. Bagsnubstrasp. Bagsnubstrasp. This sounds beautiful. This is, this is very nice. Okay, Age of Myth. Year 93, 94. Shouldn't take too long to generate this. Diamond Prison. Whoa. Okay. I don't know. This looks so fine to me. This is a beautiful place by this river. Okay, uh, sure, play now. Nice. I like the music of this game as well. It's very nice. Kind of chill, kind of like, okay, we're dwarves doing our thing. We're great. We're dwarves doing our thing. We're digging, we're mining, we're doing stuff. Okay, so we're going to try... I don't know what Legends is. I think we're going to do Fortress. Oh! Passing a few weeks to get things ready. Okay. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to do no tutorial because we don't want to do that. We're going to prepare carefully. Um, please heed the embark warnings about aquifers, salt water, and other hazards. Some locations are challenging even for experienced players, and it will be a very short game if you don't know how to deal with them. That's what I'm planning on, game! It's fine! After you embark, help is available by pressing the help button on the top right corner, including all of the tutorials. Okay. So, uh, right, click the map to zoom in and change your embark location. I really like this area here. Click the map to zoom in. It's next to plenty of mines, which we love. We need mines. The impervious barb, the land of seizures. <laughs> that sounds terrible. What is this? A light aquifer plus stone layer. Am I supposed to hold and drag the middle mouse button? Okay. Can we go closer? Do we need to click one of these? 
Twinkle Rope. I like that name. Uh, embark? Click on the map to embark. I want to be kind of... Wait, there's trees over here. I probably need some trees. We need trees and rocks. Light aquifers. I'm guessing you cannot dig underneath a river. At least not for a few tiles, anyway. Uh, let's go in the tree land over here. Let's do that. Water might be pumped out or carried away. Is that bad? Seems nice. Play now. Start immediately with default. We want to prepare carefully. Uh, oh my god, you can turn enemies off? Oh! <gasps> wow! Uh, I'll refrain, because I know people like to see enemies. Let's prepare carefully. So, um, I know we need certain animals, right? We need... We need two dogs. We need two... Oh, let's get a male and a female dog. They, then they can do other... Other fun things when they're bored. Two cats. Okay. And then we'll get... We need a couple alpacas. Because we need wool. Actually, technically, alpaca wool is called fiber in, in the real world. Reindeers? Wow. I would love to have reindeers. Um, but they're, these are expensive. But I'm told to take these with us. <laughs> we need them. So dogs can help you carry stuff. Cats can help... Uh, eat the vermin, like the mice that get into the supplies and stuff. This is what I've learned from Tumbling Satellite. Mm -hmm. We're good, we're good. And then chickens. I forgot the chickens. We need some uh, chickens. Chick chicks. We'll take a couple. I think the hens should lay without having a rooster. And when we'll get, we'll get um, eggs rather than needing, than having chicks. So I think this should be good. All right, items. Oh my god. I know... Oh, I don't even know what we need. Okay, it gives us some stuff. This is great. We get some seeds. We get an anvil. That is important, because if you don't have an anvil, your colony is already doomed. That's what I have learned. Digging stuff. We have drinks. We probably could use more drinks. Um, that is always needed, as far as I have heard. The first, one of the first things we want to build is we want to build a tavern for our, our people to like, with a five by five dancing area in the center. Okay, does this purring maggot leather quivers? Is that maggots who purr or the quivers that purr? I am confused by this. Hayberry wood buckets. Okay. I don't know what to do. Okay, it's fine. I think we should give them some skills instead. So, uh, crucial skills. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Skills, view, 58 years old, healthy, uh, not easily depressed, clumsy, seems pretty good. Skills, what have you got? Labor, combat, social, you're an adequate speaker, competent dancer. Wow. Okay. You have... And this? These are skills? Huh? Um, okay. 10 skill points left. Okay. So he has 10 skill points that we can spend. I see. So this is not actually what, what we have here. Let's see. Can we re-roll? I guess we can re-roll these people, right? If we don't like them. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay. Save profile, group symbol, group name. I was hoping we could have a reroll button, but I don't think we need it. Okay. Value stoicism. That seems good. It doesn't give us a mouse over on what these things actually help us with, which is interesting. Um, let's see. This person is cheerless. Wow. You're, you're great to have at a party concentrating on something low willpower and poor memory oh my god extravagant and zany incurious i've never heard that word before wow uh, impatient poor memory poor focus recover slowly slow to anger okay okay let's 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 prepare for this i have no idea what to do except that miners are extremely important so let's get one of these people 
Resilient seems good. Good focus. Let's let's give you some skills. Okay. You're going to be a miner. A competent, skilled, proficient miner. Oh, that's all we can do. That's it. You're going to be a wood a miner and then maybe Huh. Cuz mining is going to happen at almost all times, I think. So why don't we just make them a, maybe a gem cutter and a gem setter, both. Okay. Okay. Competent gem cutter. All right. So that sounds good. Now we need at least two miners. How are you doing? You're impatient. You're in curious, poor memory, poor intuition. You know what? Good spatial sense will give you also mining. You're also going to be a miner. And let's also make you a craftsperson. Let's make you a an engraver. Maybe you can do the engraving on the walls and stuff. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, now the next people we're gonna do. Um, good spatial sense and intuition. I don't know how this affects anything, but we need people who are doing like wood cutting and carpenting, car carpentering, carpentering. Yep. Yeah. Mm competent let's do you a couple of few things and also you're a competent mason and then we'll give you more masonry skills okay so that's three skills on them now the next one we want to have actually should we care you are high kinesthetic sense and empathy okay musician and empathy let's try to do we have like music or empathy things like um an animal thingy, butcher, that doesn't count. Uh, animal trainer, no. I don't know, I don't know. I don't see anything that's at all related to any of these things. Um, maybe we make you a planter. We want a good planter here, or maybe maybe just three points. Hold on. One, two, three, and make you a brewer as well. And then we also are going to give you maybe wood crafting. Sure. Yeah. Okay, good. Now I want somebody to cook. Who is a cook here? Oh no, we have more things. Oh, whoops. Oh geez. Okay. This one was the, uh, can I, uh, -huh. Can I take them off? Okay. This is the one that is a miner and engraver. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can take some off of this as well. Competent engraver. And then maybe you're going to be, oh my God, there are so many things. <gasps> wow. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a potter or something. Okay, who who had the empathy and, and, and junk here? Empathy and junk and musician, right. All right let's take all these skills off here because I think we're going to make you not this. We're going to put you into a, let's see, other swimmer, wound dresser. Wow. Crutch walker. These are so strange. Uh, comedian maybe, or I don't know if those are go get into be jobs or not. Probably. Uh oh, musician. What do we want to them to be? Let's make them a singer. I wonder if they actually sing in the game. And an astronomer. Wow. There are so many many things here. This is raw, very bad. I'm gonna, I want to make this person an animal person as well. Not animal dissector. No. A, maybe a milker. And a shearer. Uh-huh. And what else? Animal. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not, not milker and shearer. Take off the milking. And we're going to give you an animal trainer and caretaker. Okay. That's you. All right. Next. I want a cook. Cooking and and brewing is super important. For four on this. 
And then maybe we make you a... Oh my god. Uh, potash maker. No. Where's the brewer? Bookbinder, miller, thresher. Wait, probably th miller and thresher would be good as well. And maybe... Hmm... Why am I not seeing... Oh, and cheesemaker. Make you a cheesemaker as well. Why am I not seeing the... Uh, uh, the other thing. I shouldn't ask you that because you don't know why I'm not seeing it. You would have no idea why I'm not seeing it. Brewer! Here you are. One, two, three, four, five. And... Maybe we give you... What else? God, I don't know. Um... Um, hmm. Wax worker, book binder. I don't know how important, like, that is. Mechanic probably is also really important. So I'll give you proficient just to fix all the stuff that goes bad or goes broken. So potter and glazier is probably important, I would guess, since it's got multiple pieces of the process. But also tanner and things, people making, like, um leather leather work and, and then um and then uh the like armor armor making metal metal smithing and stuff like that let's see if we have something like that around here metal crafter stone crafter wood crafter bone carver um let's make you a metal crafter as well and a bone carver. More metal, just in case we need armor. We might need armor. We're dwarves. We live in the bowels of the earth. It is fine. Okay. Uh, let's save that profile. Sure. Fortress name. Okay, here we go. Name our settlement. Okay. Lurid work. <laughs> That's a bit funny. Treaty growths. Controlled treaties. Trade column. Race steals, spear duty, iron cloudy, cloistered squirt, folded papers. Um, angel lore, angel ore. I guess we could. Is there anything that we want to be? Is there like sky people here? Can we look? Hello, sky. Ah, here we go. And Riz, Sky, uh, what? People? Sky people? Okay, so what's people? Sky dwarfs, maybe. D W A R F. No? Really? Why is there no dwarf in here? How? <laughs> How? How are dwarves not in this game? How is that a thing? Okay, let's see what else we got. Sky Abbey? Sky... Uh, Sky Ancient? Sky Angels? Yeah! Anriz Sedil. Do we like this? It's not bad. It's not actually bad. Okay, done. We're good. So, we are the Sky Angels. Um, did we... Yeah, we got the settlement. Okay, done. We got this stuff. We ready? Let's -a go. Let's -a go. I oh yeah, I am. Oh, 176 points. Oh my god. Hmm. In that case, let's bring more stuff. Go back. So, right. Do we want to get like maybe we get digging stuff, iron picks, bodywear, I don't know exactly what to take. Like, do they come with clothes on? I don't know. Toys? Iron puzzle boxes. That sounds cute. Very cute. They're very expensive, though. Oh, boy. Willow puzzle boxes. Let's take a couple of those. Um, willow toy boats. They're only 10 each. Plants. Plump helmets. Garden vegetables. Musk melons. I'd rather get seeds, to be honest, um, than... 
than stuff because initially we can forage for food i think seeds we have uh, we'll probably get though get some as we're going so i'm not really sure we need those either training weapons cloth silk crafts kind of tempted to maybe get more animals cheeses Urgh. powders extracts oh my god there's so much stuff in this game there's fish plants garden vegetables stone cages okay bags all right barrels flasks and water skins quivers but backpacks sand glass actually backpacks i wonder if we can use those for like um like carrying stuff around uh where are they adding backpacks There we go. We have three, four, five. Okay. Ha. Huh. Dwarven beer and ale. Um, I wonder if we can get tree seeds or something. Buckets, splints, crutches, eggs. Hmm. There are so many things here. This is absolutely crazy. Nable heads, ram heads. Wow. And these are tools. What tools are these? Wow, there are so many things here. Drums, strings, wheelbarrows, step ladders. I didn't think you need a step ladder in this. Uh wow, there are things. Rollers, step ladders, wheelbarrows. Dang. Wheelbarrows seem to be expensive. Let's see. Wheelbarrows. Are there, are there any cheap wheelbarrows? Yes, there are cheap ones made out of wood. Saguaro rib? Those are cactuses. <laughs> you know what? We're going to get some because I find this amusing. 36 points left. Okay. Let's get some more quivers. Uh, and then six points left. Anything that's single, singular here? Uh, let's get some plants. Or fish. Okay, zero now. We are at zero. Okay, I guess we're ready. I guess we're ready. <laughs> A dwarven outpost, you have arrived. Uh, we are paused. Okay. After journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Edem Code. Ed, Edem. What does that mean when it has an E with dots on it? I don't know that letter. Cod. Anyway, there are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve securely at lodgings. Delve secure lodgings ere the dingo men get hungry. The dingo men! I wasn't told about these dingo men! A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Anra's Sedil Sky Angels. Strike the earth! Okay, let's pause and consider our universe. Okay, right. We have a few trees around us, which we can delete for wood. We also have the mountain over here, which will be nice. Um, all right, so we want to do first to let's get some tree chopping going on. Yes, tree chopping. Hello, cat. How are you doing? OK. They're, they're not very like they're not a lot of trees around here, apparently. OK. Lots of trees. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Yes, Emma. Uh, uh, that's Eleonora, actually. Not Emma. Let's start off by delving into this mountain here. Um, how do we want to go in here? Let's go like this. And start off by... We can maybe even have like some rooms over here. Now, I have observed that... When you are making little rooms for your dwarves, by the way, if you have to put the walls up, you can't engrave them. Okay, that's what I've been 
like listening in on Tumble's stream and it's like, oh no, don't you do that. So we need to be very careful about how we dig these spots out here. We'll go ahead and have a three wide hallway. All right, and so this is gonna be the next set. And so then I wanna have, oh, actually we need to dig this out completely. Of course we do. Um, and then we go here and we go into the middle, say, and then I'm going to do some staircases here. So we're going to dig out this section here in the middle. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we are. So, um, optionally, we could also make this corridor. Do we need to make this corridor wider? Maybe. I'm kind of worried about this now that it's too narrow. Let's do that. And then let's cancel. Where's the cancel button? Help. Can I do this? No? Right clicking? No, that doesn't help us. Erase? Erase? Aha! Erasing works. Okay, good. Okay, so that's a thing. We can do that and maybe even have a larger area here if we want to for like some purpose that I don't know about yet. <laughs> okay, so that's what going to be our digging. Let's have one door here for now uh, until we have figure out how to do anything else. Okay. Also, I don't like the the zoom buttons. I wish it was reversed, actually. Does it give us an option for this? The move selector down, page selector up, numpad, mouse context scroller up, scroll bar down, view, move viewer up, No. Mouse five. I want to reverse the mouse wheel thing because always zoom out for me is uh, scroll wheel down and zoom up is scroll wheel up. So I don't, or like in zoom in, like this should be reversed. I don't know why this, and we don't have options for this either. So it's a bit like, okay, how's that happening? Also, where is our people? Is it Z to get back? No, Z, Z is zones. Okay, we have a person doing stuff and things. So let's find our caravan site, which is in the middle, which is great. Okay, we can, we also need to start, uh, let's stockpile this stuff inside rather than outside. Oh, they are making progress. This is good. This is very good. Very good. Um, maybe what we can do also is like some of this mining area. Let's mine this out. And this area can actually be a stockpile for things like wood. If they'll go back and do it. Yeah, this guy's going back and do it. Good, 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 good. Okay, fantastic. They're getting some new kind of rock layer here. Rough hewn galena wall, and we have peat walls. Okay, limestone. Ah, we can't, oh, this is bad. This is peat. That's not gonna carve into anything. That's, so we have to go down to actually make proper rooms for our dwarves. We kind of wasted that time. It's fine, it's okay. So stockpiles, let's go. Let's have a small stockpile here for wood. Oh, oh. Nope, nope. Um, okay, it's fine. It will be fine. We'll get it sorted. Okay, accept. Good. We want to have wood here. Thank you. Okay, wood stockpile one. Good. Keep on going. There's no fast forward either, so we have to keep on going at this very tiny slow pace. Kind of wish there was some kind of uh, sound effects that would be nice. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, maybe they will come. 
So again, here we have this stockpile, accept, and again, just make it into wood. Okay. Wow. There is a lot of wood out there, which is great. I need them now. So set digging orders to do a stairwell. We'll do a three by three stairwell here. Must span multiple elevations. Okay. How do I go down? No, not that way. Here, go down there. How about that? Okay, cool. So I guess we don't have to go down as per se, but here is where we want to start maybe making some other things and stuff. Let's just do a small area around and figure out if this is some more dirt or if this is going to be proper, um, what do you call it? Uh, if it's rock or if it's going to be just dirt stuff. There we go. Wow, we found something. What is this? Is that gold? Oh, tiger's eye. Nice. This is brimstone. Interesting. So there's a little bit of uh, stone walls at this level, but not very many. Let's go down. Okay. Okay, they're finding stuff. We've got peat cavern floors. This is looking like it's probably not going to be very, very rocky. So let's just make that a small thing around here. What is this? Gypsum. Actually, it's, if it's gypsum walls all the way around, it might be okay. Okay. Okay, hello. Anybody doing stuff? No. Okay. So it looks like they filled up all of the wood storage already. Oh, they're down here. Nice. Okay. Claystone cavern floor. Okay. This is looking like it might actually be some stone that we can, can work with here. So in that case, I think I'm going to do a, like a wide area here. And this is going to be our storage area, I think. So we'll do like maybe half wood, half logs in this area, something like that. I hope our people are okay. Okay, so I need a broker and a bookkeeper. Actually, one of these uh, places could be an office, but we don't have anything to put in there. Never mind. Okay, never mind. We need, because for an office, we're going to need a, a desk or a table and a chair uh, and a door. Doors are good. Actually, I don't know if I need a door. Maybe doors are not needed. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Do we have established burrows, set hauling routes? Let's see. It's kind of like looking for our dwarf schedules. Let's see. Citizens, can you... Can we give these people schedules? Do things? No, that's not it. Uh huh. This creature is assigned to a work detail. Well, they are doing stuff, but they are not doing what I want them to do. Can you tell them to do things? Miners. Okay. One way where you can control which workers do which tasks and the only way to assign certain things. Okay. Yeah, let's just have everybody do mining right now. Yo, let's go. Guys, mine. Let's go. Start mining. Everybody needs to mine. I don't know if they're listening to me, but... I don't think Dwarf Fortress has a voice interface. Not yet, anyway. Let's see if we're going to get some good area out of here. I want to have one area for storage and then a lower area that can be for the workshops and stuff. That This area will be the workshop area. But let's actually, we need to do the workshop area first, don't we? 
Okay, how big are the workshops? Let's find out. They are in here. Workshops, furnaces, clothing, mm, farming. Right, clothing and leather. Uh, here, let's just see. This is a three by three. Okay, so they are three by three. Um, what about farming? Farming? Hmm. Workshops, farming. Farming. We don't want to do farm plot. Soil is richer, deeper underground. Okay. That's interesting because, like, you wouldn't imagine you'd get soil deep underground. <laughs> Uh, why are the rest of the dwarves not here? Hello? Where are you? You're a brewer. Why are you not doing jobs, folks? Labor? Miners? Okay. Why are they not doing this? Not specializing will do any free tasks that will become available. So, are they not qualified enough or something? Could do, everybody does this. I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, they've almost got the stuff organized. I just want them to clear up a little bit near the stairs here. Actually, two, two is fine there. We can set uh, our stockpile here for stuff. Let's do an everything stockpile. Except all. Can we, like, remove certain things from things? No. How many barrels? Repaint. Remove. Hmm. Nope. Okay, let's just leave it as it is. That'll be fine. And then we'll just have another stockpile over here that's going to deal with uh, stone and ores and gems and things. So this is going to be stone. Ah, actually just stone apparently. All right, fine. What's this? Malachite wall. Oh, that's tasty. That is very tasty. Okay, at least the other dwarves will be doing something there. Okay, so this is going to be our workshop level. Um, I think we want to do workshops, and I've seen this pattern before. Let's see, let's do a corridor here as well, and then have a three, a one cross. Oh, wait, that's not correct. Okay, like that. That's what we want to do. And then we can have connecting things as well. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one. Okay. Connector, connector. Ah, nope. Come on. Behave yourself. Behave yourself, thingy. Behave. Okay. And this is one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Okay. Perfect. So these are going to be like warehouse or um, clusters here. Oh, weird. Won't let us go beyond that. Strange. Oh, I know why. That's the edge of the map, I think, right? Might be the edge of the map. E yep, that is the edge of the map. Why is the edge of the map here? Didn't this map go on and on and on? Why are we like in the like corner of the map? That's really strange that it would like designate things that way. I find that very odd, very odd indeed. All right, so things are getting sorted. Is there any way to set like... Click an icon to set, can I, uh, custom, all right. All except for uh, stone. None. Aha. Other stone, none. Clay, none. Also, we don't want it to take wood. None. Okay. 
And then we want it to take gems none. Because we're going to add those others to the other one. The stone and stuff here, custom. We'll take stone. We're going to take gems. All. Yay. We'll give all these things here. Good. Okay. Nice. This might be a good layer. Wait, what? Uh, this one might be a good layer for farming in general. Uh, because we kind of need that. I don't know how big farming plots are supposed to be. Let's just take it to the wall here and try to organize stuff. Also, I'm not sure how far apart you need columns to hold the ceiling up. We're just going to go off of six, which is just a guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, okay. That is just based off of other games, but I have no idea about this game. I actually don't know how, how far you can let things cave in with. I guess seven might be okay because like, I think we can, I think I've seen this without columns in it, but I'm not sure. Okay. And outside again, let's can probably get some more trees down. Uh, we're going to need those soon. Lots of wolves yelling there. Okay, so that's there. Then this is our workshop layer. And then I guess this can be our home layer. Okay, we'll have opulent quarters for our dwarves. We go three. Okay. Okay, that's cool. We have a population of seven, so that's eight, eight different quarters. Should be nice. Can be good, good, good. All right, so we're gonna have to start making stuff. We have, what are these? Oh no, I don't wanna do that. Okay, what is this? We have barrels, chestnut barrel with fish in it, fish barrel. One humped camel leather backpack. And a meat barrel in the same thing. Interesting. Okay. It feels a bit eerie with just like these these coyotes yelling. It's weird. It's weird. Okay. And dwarves are like, okay, we got tons of wood now. KOS, what are we gonna do all with all this wood? Just a moment, my little dwarves. I shall show you. So, um, it's looking good so far, actually. We can also, we need to open up this area too, to the one, two, three, and then here, we wanna put in the connecting uh, wall or walkways there. This is our, this is also a really good place to, to do the mining because farms are good. Farms help us grow food. Farming is great. <laughs> Carnelian cluster. Wow. That's got to be beautiful. Got to be a very beautiful wall there. Okay. And obviously we have completely... <laughs> we should have taken some extra barrels and buckets and things to help store this stuff. Can you please get these two thingies? Jeez. They're so sloppy when they do stuff. They're just like, you know, don't make clean corners. Look at this. Not e Oh my God. Really? I can't put a single workshop there. All right. There you go. Come on. Come on, girly. Do the thing. 
Okay, what's our most important workshop? Let's do a workshop for, uh, I don't know, actually. What is our most important workshop? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, maybe like a carpenter's workshop, I think. Let's put that here. All right, and then select things. Oh wait, I don't want to do that. I wanted to do a different thing. Workshop, carpenter, keep, mm, select, use closest materials. What I want to do with that. Yeah, there we go. Ah, we have another set of workshops, hooray. Um, so we'll do workshops with crafts. Okay, then we'll do workshops with, maybe we do, I don't actually know. I have no idea what's important first. Stone worker, maybe make stone furniture here as well as blocks, which are used in constructions. Okay, let's put that there. Um, so we're going to, we need to make orders for these things. I guess we'll go up to our surface area. Actually, what I should do is make a couple of doors. Add new task. So you, you have to do some really stupid esoteric stuff that chat told me about in Twitch when I was doing this. So we're going to, we're going to do this. Make, let's see, door, make a wooden door. Let's do, oh, you have to do that several times actually. Make wooden, where is it? Is that under D? It is under D. Okay. So we're going to do this. And hopefully that gets done. But in order to do orders like make 10 of them and stuff, you have to have a, like a manager in an office. And I'm like, really? Why? So we need to make a, uh, a table and a chair, right? Make wooden chair. Okay. Add new task. Make wooden table. Okay. So those things need to get done. And then we can make the door. I think we'll, we'll end up putting them on the top floor where we had these bad bedrooms here. So let's put in a, let's see, furniture, wait, doors, doors. Aha. Let's have a door. Let's put one there. Use closest material. Can I have a door? Thank you. Okay. And then we want to do furniture, uh, table. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do a furniture chair. There we go. And that will be the office for our new person. Place a zone. So we're going to do an office here. Oh, no, please. Thank you. Accept. Do I need to tell it what kind of office? I don't think so, maybe. Maybe we just assign the person. So now, um, certain zones. Okay, there we go. So now we go to our dwarf administration here. Uh, is it this one? The nobles and administrators. Ah, okay. Go away that. Can I not? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we need a bookkeeper? No, it's the broker, I think, right? No, not exactly. <laughs> Manager? Work orders. Yes, let's go. Okay, so who is good? Nobody has relevant skills. Okay, so let's just use you. How about you? Dumat Kuletidun. Sure. All right. And then let's assign this area to that person. Thank you very much, Dumont. There you go. Okay, so that means we can now use the workshops to do much more extensive orders. Also, now that we have it, let's do our farming here. Farm plot. Let's do one here. Okay. Shops, farm plot. Farming, farm plot. Okay, keep building after placement. Right. Okay, let's do one here. 
Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay. So, yeah, you can't use that as... Uh, that's not soil there. All right. Okay. We may have to have it on this level instead. That's kind of a waste. That's annoying. No worries. I kind of had that feeling, but then I'm like, nah, they'll build raised beds. It's fine. All right. Farm plot. I'll just make the other one a bit bigger. Do this kind of thing with it. Okay. And this one, let's have... I don't know what the best thing to make is, but we'll just do dimple cups, sure. And then pigtails, I think, I believe pigtails are like cotton, so they're like a fiber thing that you don't eat that. One person is really happy. How do we have 14 people now here? How did that happen? Wowie. Okay, lots of people planting as well. That's impressive. Where did these new people come from? We like literally doubled our population. That's a bit wild. Um, so anyway, we can pause and do a set up work orders um, on, yeah, let's do a thing. So what we want to do is do like the carpenter shop and we want to do barrels, make wooden barrels. So we want to do Set the maximum number. No, we want to do something here. Number of times a task will be performed. Maybe. Set the conditions for work order activation. Yeah, that seems good. We want to do, we don't want to do a one-time order. We want to do, if empty barrels is less than 10, this one, okay. Restarts if completed, right? Make, okay, if it's 10, okay, that's fine. Make the activation depend on the status of another work order? No. We're checking the amount, which is fine. Frequency. We want to check it daily. Restarts if completed. That's perfect. So we want to do the... Uh, oh, where do we... Hello? Type mat. Uh, okay. Materials. How do I change this to 10? Uh... Make wooden barrels. Why, why does this, hello? How come I can't change this part? Oh my God. Some things in this UI are absolutely horrendous, like really bad. Um, but I am, I am adapting. I'm trying to adapt. Like this plus should not be on the line where you actually have a work order. It should be above it. Uh, you know what? We don't care that much about this. We're fine. Um, so we want wooden barrels, right? That's important. We also want, what else do we want? Let's check. So we want to do carpenter's workshop. We want to make doors maybe. Let's make doors, make a wooden door. We want to make how many, how, why does this always choose 10? I don't want 10 people. Yo, make wooden door. Okay, does it say here? Or brew drinks or make five statues every month. You can limit the orders from a number of workshops. You can also create work shirts. Or is that a specific one? Yes, but you didn't tell me how to, to do this. If available is less than 10. Suggested. Can I, can I do one? No. Make wooden door. Oh my God. If. Make wooden door 10. I clearly cl changed this to 11, but I don't know how to change it right now. If the available is less than 10. Change the amount. Yeah, 10. Okay. Then that's fine. But I want to change this number. If not, if it's less than 10. Okay. Type. No, I don't want to do any of this. Oh, there are things there. Okay. If wooden door less than 10. 
Uh, please, can I adjust this? Hello? No, that's not it either. This is so esoteric. Why, people? Uh, one shop max or any shop. Zero, I guess. Make wooden door. Oh my god, here it is. Okay, there it is. Wow, all right. So where are the conditions then? Conditions are here. Okay, if door is available less than five. There we go. Okay. Whew, wow, all right. So let's go back. Wooden barrels. Let's see, how did I adjust this? If wooden, okay, there it is, 10. Right. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a thing. We got it. Anyway, enough wrangling with this UI. We are at a point where we need to stop this video for today. Our dwarves haven't died. This is great. We haven't died yet. So I hope you're happy about that. I definitely am. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.